Lagos is crazy every day. Like right. I was saying that, I think I asked a friend of mine, like, no clubs in London on Monday, on a no. Tuesday. Oh, no. And they're like, oh Everybody's no, working. it's more like a loud. Working, yeah, but Lagos, now. Obi's house on Monday. Yes, now. Bay Rock after. Yes, now. London is expensive. Mm. That's the only problem I How think I have Lagos? in London. This is where Lagos meets London. Where Peckham boys chill in Ushapa, London. As Moritala Mohammed, Heathrow is on his, is where London Bridge links Todd Milan Bridge via Coast. This is where Lagos meets London. Hello, my people, what's up? It's your favorite girl, Missy Alice, and you are back on another episode of Lagos Meets London. What's going on, people? It's your boy OJ. Welcome back to Lagos Meets London. Happy to be here once again. What's up, guys? Wait, hold on a minute. Don't, don't jump yet. <laughs> we need to introduce you. We need to introduce you. you. We okay. need to introduce you, okay? And today is a very... Guys, we've been filming back to back. Bruh, are you proud of us? Because we're trying to give you guys the content because... It's not easy. It's not easy, it's not easy. bruh. But today is a special episode for you guys. We literally had to make this happen for you guys because we have the energy god, the podcaster, the... The influencer of all influencers, all the way from Nigeria. This guys, OJ let me do the introduction today, so I I can't fail. <laughs> I can't fail. We have the fashionista, guys. Are you seeing the look? Are you seeing the swag? Are you seeing the energy, hey, guys? Fine boy. Fine boy. Even yeah. his lips is shiny um, more than mine. <laughs> Are you being shy? I'm guys, shy. Should we call you Jermaine Media or Jermaine? Jermaine. Jermaine. Guys, we have Jermaine all the way from Nigeria. You guys Jermaine have seen OG. Him. OG. That's why the name OG. Come OG, on. not Welcome, the little bro. one. Thank you, Lagos to London. You Lagos guys meets London. London. Ooh, ooh, ooh. No worry, no worries. No, People, it's not you're not the first person to make a mistake. What's a way to get in? To this. You're not the first person to make the mistake. <laughs> we, you, just say hello. How are you? How are you finding London? I'm fine. I mean, I was just telling him now that God is good. I was finding my way here with the train. Mm -hmm. And like, I found two of my friends in the train that brought me here. Like, yeah. the first one was a total stranger because she's my friend now. Mm -hmm. And then she left her stop to literally bring me to like the train that's bringing me to the one that brought me here. Wow. And then she the blocked. last one coming here, I see my friend that's about to come from my party tomorrow. tomorrow. Yeah. He literally left his stop to bring me here wow. and like got put two angels on the train you know why mm -hmm. i for loss coming here <laughs> you can't be lost in london no it's not possible as long as what you have mean? internet it's not possible for no, if i don't have internet oh oh that's yeah why. that's gonna i be don't bad. have a sim that's why oh okay oh, yeah, that's right. so every time i leave my 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 hotel my music doesn't play Oh, my, wow. I so don't know. Do you, I'm do? you have to take in the environment. Listen to <laughs> conversation. I think that's Touch grass. <laughs> I think that's why you were able to even see people that. Oh, I think that's person, why. Even though, though you would have been on your phone, I would still be. Because <laughs> yeah, you know what? You might have internet in London. I still don't know where you're going. Facts. But has just been good because, to Because, guys, it's good to have you in the studio. Good to but have you, Jermaine. before we get into it, guys, make sure you are commenting, liking, subscribing to our YouTube channel. We are everywhere. We are on TikTok. We're on Snapchat. We're on Instagram. And for our streaming platform, we're on YouTube, Spotify, Apple Podcasts. And for those in Nigeria, we're on Jollof, Jollof Media. Because Jollof we have Radio. Jermaine OG. And I know your favorites will want to listen as well. So for sure. You can yeah. listen on Jollof, Jollof Media. Jollof Media. Uh, but... Jollof Media, Jollof Radio. And also follow the BTS, guys. If you're here, mm -hmm. follow the BTS on BTS Instagram. BTS Reality Show. BTS Reality Show. Follow Love Jermaine that. on yes. Instagram. Jermaine OG. Follow the YouTube. Everything. Jermaine Media. It, you get Guys, I'm happy to be here. <laughs> energy, energy, energy. You are, see what I mean? Energy God. Because energy. It's, it's the energy for me. Also, guys, I have to let you know that this episode is brought to you by Tickets. OJ. T I C K X T S. For you guys that are planning events, especially you event organizers, mm -hmm. this is the platform that you want to get onto quickly before it becomes too saturated. Absolutely. One, I'm not going to dwell on it too much because we've been saying it, but mm -hmm. now all the event organizers for Carnival, that's where they are putting their tickets on. Because Facts. why, guys? Because of Klanna. Mm -hmm. Imagine if I want to go for your show tomorrow, Jermaine. Mm -hmm. And I don't have all my money. I mean, some people, they live fake life. You think they have money, they don't have money, but they still want to enjoy. Mm -hmm. You can just go on Klarna, pay, maybe the ticket is 20 pounds, pay five pounds. In and you have your ticket. Mm -hmm. you, next time you have to pay is until next month. Mm -hmm. What are they called? Klarna. Okay, the, the, name of the, the name of the platform is yeah. Tickets. There it is. 
Tickets should come. Yes. Should come. Like we should use them for BTS tomorrow. You, definitely. Yeah. Definitely. You can use our referral code. Yes. LML one hundred. LML one hundred. I said your phone should be on. <laughs> silent. He doesn't rate our podcast. <laughs> no, it's silent. <laughs> <laughs> We're joking. Um, so uh, but yeah, we definitely can link you up, Jermaine. So, so guys, T R C K X T S for all the event organizers. And please. don't forget to use our referral code LML hundred. Okay? LML hundred, 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 hundred. Jermaine, how? Firstly, we want to ask, is this is your second time in London? My my second time as an adult, yes. The last oh. time I was in London was last year. But prior to last year, it was 10 years ago. Oh, wow. Okay. So I came in 2014, 2015. Okay. Then the popular song was La La. La 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 La. By Naughty Boy and Sam La 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 Back in the days. Mm, okay, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. I used to tell people that, that, that this girl called, is it Kyla? Um, baby. I like would, you. Yeah, I would like you mind to stay oh, a yeah, night, the yeah, whole yeah. night? I was like, that was the London era. Right. And that's what I'm trying to bring back now. I'm back. I'm, like the party I'm having tomorrow, I want, I want us to turn up. I want to see girls, you know, with their short skirt, you know, the boys walking up to the girls confident, you know, like the way London used to be. Parties, head, shoulders, knees, and toes. Mm-hmm. Man, them, let me see you keep it. You know, mm-hmm. the mm-hmm. funk. London mm-hmm. used to have funk. Yeah. That's good. Bring we're back si- the we're funk. We're serious now. I'm too bring serious now. They've sucked out all the fun in London. Yeah, no. <laughs> That's because of London is going through the cost of living crisis. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. There's exactly. Not, nothing is funny anymore. Nothing exactly. Is funny why is that anymore. so? It's the economy. Yeah. But they, Everyone's they, going through I suppose. Everyone. I've, even Nigeria is going through it. The states are going through it. So it's the economy. There's no money anymore. And I think the catalyst of all of this is the lockdown. COVID-19. The lockdown. The, the UK government borrowed too much money. Mm-hmm. Doing just to like give. Can I say this? Will this be allowed to say this? Say yeah, if, we, if it's not allowed, we could cut down. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> say it first. They I'll said know. they said you guys used um the money to bury the queen. That like you guys are researching because the queen. Correct. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I mean, it's part <laughs> of the money. Like, yeah. They were like, that's why yeah, you guys are, are researching because you guys used all the money to bury the queen. No, no, no. no, you, no. During that time, we've had <laughs> the so we had, we've had, we've done also use money to do the queen's jubilee. The no, the king's jubilee. No, no, the queen. Oh, she, yeah, before she died. Yeah, oh, she yeah, did her true, birthday. Yeah, true. we spent a lot of money to do that too. Oh, Ty Queen Elizabeth, I love you, mama. Rest in <laughs> Long peace. Long live the queen. Long live the queen. <laughs> Not me. <laughs> but Jermaine, what do you think of London? London is expensive. Mm. That's the only problem I Come think I have Lagos. in London. Okay, in Lagos, no, we're in Naira. Right. So one million naira in Lagos, it's mm. a lot of money. Mm. I mean, minimum wage is what it was thirty k. I think they said they moved it towards sixty k. An average lawyer with the wear suits. Not the the like the character that he plays. Yeah, <laughs> he's not lying about that. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, a lawyer yeah. will go to school, work, mm-hmm. and then you come and be in there. I noticed some new lawyers, new graduates that earn what mm-hmm. 50k mm-hmm. working a whole month. Mm-hmm. You have a family, mm-hmm. you have bills to pay, mm-hmm. you have cars to fill, you have groceries to buy, you have school fees to pay. What can 50k do for you? If they are a big boy, you see 150k. If we have connection, we see him work of 400,000, and that's big money a month. 400,000. Yeah, you know, it's amazing that you said big boys like in Lagos. Big boys in Lagos are coming to London with their 150k that they're making. How is that possible? Eh? I don't think big boys that have that make 150k are coming to Okay, for, okay, 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 okay. You can say the ones that are coming here to run away. Mm. Mm. There's jackpot people too. Because there's someone I know, I'm not going to call his name. When we came last summer, I came for summer and I was like, ah, I only came with like 700 pounds. It's so much small money. He said, Jamie, give me 700 pounds. <laughs> <laughs> 700 pounds is a lot of money though. Right he look me. <laughs> He look me from leg to up. And he literally goes like, you know what I changed is 150,000 naira. Wow. To be here. Wow. What does he eat in the morning? Cake, cupcake. Oh, <laughs> cupcake. Yes. Cupcake for Morrison's, one pound. <laughs> so he was really surviving. He's still in London till now. Okay. But the point is, like the people who do that, they do that to like greener patch. Or they, it's like they're running yeah, away. Well. So they're mm-hmm. surviving. But I don't think people like, I mean, I was coming, my dad was telling me, you better change 2,000 pounds to be here 
or you know, you better don't go. I don't want you I to stress. Agree. And I was like, do you know what two thousand pounds is? That's £2, four, pounds is four million naira. Four million one hundred and seventy thousand naira. That's a lot of money. One thousand pounds is two million naira. Two million seventy thousand. That's crazy. Where you want to see? Where do you want to get that money from in Nige? Like, mm. what work do you do? But a lot of people from Nigeria are coming to London. A lot of people from Lagos are coming to London. Like a lot of the big boys, the especially big boys people and big girls. like I. You, I, I know that you would have been out. <laughs> you, yeah, you'd have been out, and you'd have seen. Like I just, I was saying to you that I just land, randomly I saw Token Makinwa the other day. But you just see a lot of people that are like big boys and big girls. I think there's a lady that you also sent me a profile to say, oh, this girl yeah, is in London. she's an actress. Is it Genevieve? Yeah. Like, Genevieve, like Genevieve. No, no, no. no, no, no of course, Genevieve no, has money to come Ain't to Ain't nobody London. seen Genevieve. <laughs> no, 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 no. Genevieve gives Beyonce energy. Why? Because, yeah, she does. She's like is the that girl, queen though. of Nollywood. Yeah, she yeah. is. She is, actually. She no, is. but what I want to know is, is it that London is accessible or are there like really rich people in Lagos that they get that money and they can just, just fly out in. to London at any time? Because you're here. So if you call you big boy as well, you're giving big boy energy. <laughs> you know <what> I mean? <laughs> <laughs> He's trying to style it. Talk your shit. Wait, but... The people, some people come to like Europe through ocean now. No, no, we're talking about like people that are recognized. <laughs> Jermaine, like the big, you, you, of course you roll with them in Nigeria. Yeah. And then you see like their Instagram, oh, this person is in London now. Like, all of a sudden. Most of, it, most of the time, they are, the big boys of Lagos and London, they are all, at least some of them will come to London twice a year. Mm. They're always here. Yeah, like, what, why, why do you think that? Is it because it's accessible? Is it so similar to each I other? I think... Like you see, you, your podcast is called Lagos Meets London. Right. Yeah. They're very similar. LL, London, Lagos. Mm -hmm. Like a majority of Londoners, like everywhere you go, you see Lagos people there. I mean, I told yeah. you I was in the train. I just saw mm -hmm. my friend that's meant to come for my party tomorrow. He's literally in the train that was, that was used to come here. Mm -hmm. Like what's, what's, what are the odds? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So they're very similar. The lifestyle is very similar. Mm -hmm. Even at the club, see them trying to, you know, pop this, act the same way. Yeah. They bring the hey. same lifestyle, the same hey. mentality hey. here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, Lagos podcast, this is how it is. The same thing, the same, right. first, like the same energy, mm -hmm. you know, the hustle spirit. Right. Mm. right. It's almost yeah, the, the same. Hustle spirit is, the hustle yeah, spirit. I would say it's the same. Mm -hmm. The hustle spirit is definitely the same. And, you know, a lot of us have like family here. Right. Either like mm. your grandma or your auntie. Could you, you know, live here? I don't think I can live here though. I think you, you love Lagos too much. Maybe because well, I built though? a brand for myself right. in Lagos. Like Lagos, Echo for sure, Echo raised me. Mm -hmm. I mean, I schooled in Lagos, primary mm -hmm. school Lagos, um, high school Lagos. Uni was Ocean State, but it's still Nigeria. I was always going home. And, you know, it's just really been home. That's all I really know. Mm -hmm. Does that mm -hmm. make any sense? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it does make sense. If you were to, what's the one thing that you like about London the most? If you were to, yeah, one thing that you'd say, oh my, yeah. What do I even like about why do I even like this London? <laughs> why do I even like this London? I think it's the people. It's good vibes. It's always inviting. Mm -hmm. Wow. Before I got like, you know, quote unquote, you know, sociable, like say popular, I would, you know, have family here. So either you have your auntie, you go see, and you know, what just to put it is before I became my brand. Yeah, before I became my brand. That's it. Mm -hmm. I mean, look at their brand, guys. We get each puff puff on this show. Enjoy yourself. Look, I know Trey the puff puff. <laughs> I've not had a puff puff this big in so um, long. Really? The last time I had a big puff puff like, was ST and T. Those who went to ST and T, shout out to you guys. ST and T Primary School, GRE. Oh, wow. Mm. They used to sell the, the best puff puff. That bad in Lagos. Let me tell you how what we used to do then. Can I do it here? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, go on. So they will open it. Ah, then you start eating the inside. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We'll open it you and then the we'll dough. do this. Hey. Guys, I know this is Raz. Very yeah. Raz. <laughs> <laughs> but Jimmy, you you're this, a big boy now. Why we do this? Like people who get it, mm -hmm. get it. Get yeah, it. People, I know that too. That like, we used to do that when we were younger. If you went to primary school in Nigeria, definitely, yeah, you would know that. Yeah, you would know how to do that. <laughs> um, yeah, like you oh mentioned. Oh my god, that's content. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you actually opened it. That you do it for bread too. I get get bread. Yeah, you eat the inside. So. And the, yeah. <laughs> Wait, no, no, go on, go on. What did you want to say? I said, maybe because the, we feel like the, the outside is hard, like the inside will be soft. Yeah, I, I like purple. I like the all of, like everything about purple. You, like, you like soft life. You like soft things. Shout out to the soft life. Energy. Nobody comes life to suffer. I swear. Like, I think, yeah, like that's the basis of why we're all doing this, to enjoy life. Mm. The enemy is poverty, mm. not Fact. ourselves. Like when I see people fighting each other, I just always think like... Do you guys really even know what you want? Your mm. brother is not your enemy. Your sister is not your enemy. Enemy is poverty. Why there's so much issue everywhere? It's poverty. Facts. This one is calling this one out. Mm -hmm. Um, 
I asked you when you came to Canada. I this, I that. Um, I took you to this consent. <laughs> I took you to this. And I'm just like, what is the roots of this thing now? It's poverty. If you are not so broke, you see those things, like, what's there hosting people? Hmm. Like, Otter Dollar and them don't fight like that. It's not, you know. Nuts, you know. <laughs> they don't fight, though. And I even think it's a character flaw in our generation. Like, and I know it all boils us to this soft life we're talking about. Mm. Like, if you're raised with love, like, there's the basics. Like, when people come to my house, I offer them food and drink. Nothing. It's nothing. That's just Eat basic. as you want. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. But, like, for people, it's such a big deal. They will be counting it. Oh, wait, can I give you this? Like, what must you count every single thing you give your friend? That's mm. why the word friend is so... It's very people use it loosely. Yeah, people use it loose loosely. Like if you're saying you're somebody's friend, mm -hmm. you should that should never even come up in a conversation. Mm -hmm. If you're saying this person is my friend, mm -hmm. it's just like saying, yeah, oh, when Jermaine came here, we gave Jermaine puff puff. We gave we he was comfortable and everything. Like, it's just basic, like when people are coming around. Hey, you gave me puff puff and I chopped the puff. <laughs> What? Arrest me. And let me tell you what I even hate. When they even come and be trying to embarrass you guys, mm. you guys now try to be defensive. If not the person, they give free chop life. You don't go chop. <laughs> yes, you go I, chop. You will eat. Yes, now. Yeah, yes, so I came to your house and, and I slept. Uh, and I slept. I yeah. know what? What I was I to do? What was I meant to do in your house? Honestly, honestly. Hawk, help you clean your room. Get a house girl for that. Literally. And you mentioned, obviously, you mentioned uh, Lagos, London, podcasting world. I was literally, I was on a platform in Nigeria and mm -hmm. I was just like, obviously, you like to network. You can't know everything in life. You mm -hmm. need to learn here and there too. Mm -hmm. And I was asking them on the platform, um, guys, we, we have this podcast. We're looking to get more traction in Nigeria. And one of them was just like, uh, oh, just look for one idiot. We go come. We we'll just talk rubbish and they're making a clip arm. And it will just go viral. Now, so now people blow. I was like, so you guys don't even respect. Like, this is actually a craft. This is someone's craft. Mm. The, main, the main idea behind podcasting is not for people to come and say rubbish and click it for it to go viral. We're actually having unique conversations that you mm. don't get to have in day-to-day -day life. Mm -hmm. So respect our craft, mm -hmm. especially Nigerians. Like, And now that's why <laughs> Nigerians are not getting sponsorships when it comes to podcasts. Wow. Wow. Podcasts have become saturated. Mm. I was speaking to, permit me to mention his name, Ubi Franklin. Right. I was speaking to him recently and he said to me, um, Jermaine, a lot of people don't want to sponsor, sponsor podcasts anymore. They don't want to sponsor podcasts anymore because of everyone is doing podcasts now. Everyone is going there to talk rubbish and it's causing fights all around. It's causing issues. So Nigerians look for every opportunity to make money mm -hmm. and then they just go so extreme. Wow. So they're saying bizarre things. Mm -hmm. I saw a podcast of a girl saying, eh, I slept it. My body counts. It passed 1,000. Yeah. Hey, passed don't, hey, we don't want problem. It's we not are realistic. <laughs> we are sorry. No, no, sorry I said it. It's not realistic. I, 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 no I shots. No but shots. You're only no saying shades. all those things because you want click. It's a podcast. Okay. Yeah. But some of them, I think they used to drink a book. <laughs> <laughs> going to do this podcast like or they used to drink like sh like shekpe or something like are you normal like they used to take Colorado what makes you go on the podcast take a Colorado. mic and say the things you say no honestly I agree with you so do you think it's because people just say rubbish that's why oh my podcast don't... I can't do that I won't even invite you yes call me classist call me whatever you want to call me no you have to I, because I like you're not going to come to my podcast and just talk anyhow take away all my hard work for years oh that's actually very good coming from Coming from you saying that you have mm. a podcast in Nigeria because no, that no, idea, I will scrutinize you. We'll oh, do your brand grand shake. When did you start your podcast? Last year, February. And it's doing so well. It's doing so well. Because, and, I'm, and it's self owned, mm -hmm. self run. I script it. Mm -hmm. I get my guest. Mm -hmm. I pick the topics. I sit down with my team and mm -hmm. pick, pick the ones that go out. Mm -hmm. And when people come to me, I was saying it now. They're saying it that, oh, Jimmy, what's your marketing budget? Mm -hmm. Like, how much do you pay to have your stuff everywhere? Like, I was like, marketing budget? What do you mean? <laughs> Wow. The guy was like, I see your stuff on Cracks TV. Mm -hmm. I said on Insta blog, I've never paid a blog in my life to post my podcast. Right. If I've paid any blog in Lagos, Nigeria, come, come out. out to receipts. Come out. Oh, I like that. <laughs> come I out. actually like that. Come out to <laughs> receipts. I mean, I've had Lai on my show. Yeah. I've had Yemoli and Shank on my show. In fact, the day Shank went on my show he went viral on insta blog mm -hmm. but they tried to twist something he said mm -hmm. and he called me up shan called me up and said to say oh no jermaine um if i vex you no know, go like him more i was like what do you mean he was like if you want to promote your show promote your show mm -hmm. why would you promote your show with like a bad clip of me and i was like right. shank you really think i went 
crop that evil part out and then give it to a blog to, to post, post to right. spoil your brand you really mm -hmm. think that low of me but I don't blame you that's what brands are doing yeah mm -hmm. maybe another thing I was just to say to touch on that is maybe that's why when he came to London he was asking us for £2,000 to come here Mm -hmm. To Lagos, Miss London. So you think it's my fault? No, no, it's not your fault. Maybe it's because. Oh, yeah, of, Shank, is it my fault? No, no, rap. Shank, <laughs> is it my fault? It's because of the bad rep it's Nigerians bad have rap. about podcasts. Mm -hmm. They think we are inviting people to come so that they can say rubbish and mm -hmm. they will now clip it for our show to go viral. No, I believe that. Yeah, I believe <laughs> maybe some podcasts are doing it, but He's that's so passionate. Not, yeah, it's true because really? I'm very passionate about podcasting because I've been listening to podcasts even before they came to Nigeria. It started. I've been listening to podcasts. Why in is there everything that enter Nigeria? They want to spoil it. <laughs> They've spoiled it already, it's Nigeria. Like, oh. Anything that enter Nigeria, they want to condemn it. I don't condemn but, it. Bend you know, it. You know what? Your podcast is doing so well. So for someone in Nigeria or even Lagos that wants to start a podcast, what would you advise them? First of all, pick a niche. You know what you're trying to do. Right. Mm. I mean, let's your podcast be an extension of who you are, what you like, your mm -hmm. hobbies, things that you like. I mean, I have a flair for influencing. Mm -hmm. I have a flair for the arts. Mm -hmm. Right. So when I think about my topics, the first thing that comes to my mind is, oh, the guest that's coming. How does that topic relate to the guest? Right. It, a lot of people don't think these things true. They just come, think of whatever. Let's just talk and just talk and just be talking. Right. And they talk about the same thing most time. Man, man. It's uh, so annoying. Can I, I can't cuss on your podcast. You, you know, they just say a lot of things. There's a lot of bizarre things. Bizarre things. But there's there are more to talk about, mm -hmm. you know. I mean, my first episode was with Diana Eneje. She's one of the biggest, you know, influencers yeah. in Nigeria. Yeah. It's her birthday really soon. Happy birthday, Diana, if you're watching this. Woo! And we... we our episode was what young and famous, right. young and handling fame rather. Mm -hmm. You know, oh, you why? Because she got famous at what, like what? She started entertainment as a fourteen. She's like quite young, didn't she? And then she did, you know, Rema's do maybe video. video. Oh yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And she came on the show and she said, "Oh yeah, you know, my parents didn't know I was going to do that video, okay. and you know, they found out like just found out because I was scared to tell them when my mm -hmm. sisters knew. And when I did that, you know, the accident. Ah, it's not not you. They saw me on TV <laughs> and everything. And that clip went viral. It has like seven million views on 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 TikTok. And you see, that's organic. That's mm -hmm. authentic because that's true. Right. So like, if you're a podcaster, or you're an entertainer watching this, like, start something and let it be an extension of you. Right. Like, have a vision, have a mission. Mm -hmm. Like I was telling them yesterday, the event we're having um, for tomorrow. I'm was not doing it because of the, the money. For Jermaine Media. What? Was the 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 event you're having tomorrow? Was that always the goal? No, it just leads there. I mean, he said something. I was once a photographer. Yeah, yeah we're that's gonna come to that as well. Yeah. It all starts from there, mm. and one thing leads to something else, right? And that then you find yourself where you are. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's what happens for me. I love that. Obviously, the Lagos that you have access to is very different. To the Lagos that, that a lot like of the regular people have, like people <laughs> like me. <laughs> I want to say something. I can't wait to say it. Say okay, it. okay. Let's start Should from I there. Say it. Yeah, go say on. It. Let's start from it. there. Should I say it? Go on, go on, go on. Let's start from there. <sighs> if you don't like, if you don't, don't worry. You know, we we'll edit or cut, chop, chop, and everything. If you don't like it, I don't know. I'm not like the controversial type. Mm. Are you sure? I don't know why people think so. I'm but really if not. But if it's organic, if it's but guess it's, what? Yeah, people really think I'm controversial, but I'm not. I think I've. I don't I've, know why that thing. At, like I don't know. Maybe because I'm Libra. I don't know if people watching believe in believe in signs or anything. I like don't. Libras are just very like dramatic people. I mean, look at Kim Kardashian. I think Will Smith is a Libra. When you see. <laughs> Libra Libras, energy. You just always feel like mm, this one is doing too much or this one is like is intentionally I swear to God this is who I am. Mm -hmm. I mean obviously even before the cameras came on this is how you you were. Yeah. yeah. And they go like oh his fans they like this boy like I have to I, I don't know what I think was because when they drag me on Twitter or somewhere mm -hmm. I always screenshot it I don't know why I just screenshot some like you don't get any it gets on rumor why I don't hear about myself I even I, I was asking myself like Jamie so you really did this. <laughs> So you really are this. Because I'm like, what when? When the hell? Yeah. And they go like, oh, his family's everybody. I, I, I hate people that try to put their stuff in anywhere something is popping. Excuse me. Did I ever know Lai was going to be Lai? Lai was my roommate mm -hmm. mm. when we were graduating. Yeah. You and he went to Boy University together. Yeah, you told me that. That's crazy. And in final year, he, he, he started to boom. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, when you just see someone start. And I just always used to encourage him. We had we hosted the final year, you know, dinner together. Mm -hmm. And I, I just always encouraged him, like, bro, mm -hmm. you have this in you. And a year later, he's the lie was sabi. Mm -hmm. You see me with him now. Oh, Jermaine is famsy. How do I know Chef Chi? Her sister went to NYSC with my cousin, my daddy's goddaughter. And every time I go from uni to my cousin's house, mm -hmm. I'll see Chef Chi and her sister's there. 
Wow. Now she's Chef Chi. Everyone is like, oh, Your family. his family. Oh. How? I can't make these things up. So, so my now what do you want you to do? My first viral video was Tiwa Savage. Mm. I made a video of Tiwa Savage. Who remembers that video? She was wearing black boots yeah. on stage on a coding diet and she did that beautiful yeah, dance. Yeah, that thing. video went viral. She even posted on her page. Everyone's like, oh no, his family. How does he know? Some people are destined, you know. So who's the who's the most famous person in your contact list? Mm. We know you know Lai. I know we know that's your boy. We know you know Chef Chi. Who's the most famous person on your contact list? Because this your phone has been buzzing. Since. I don't know why it's buzzing. It's as bothering in, me as well. For you. It's actually bothering but me. But yeah, like, who's the most famous person on your contact list? I don't really know who. I don't know. No, you do. Lai. Lai is the most famous person on my contact list. <laughs> People are quite funny. So, what did they expect you to do? Okay, yeah. you've, they, now now that you've known them prior to who they are now, yeah. so anytime you see them, they just expect you to like just start acting like uh, forming for them. them. Of yeah. course not. Mm-hmm. Like these are your peoples, and that's life. Networking. Mm-hmm. They say your network is your net worth. So if you have access to network in, I feel like they're just haters because they're in my yeah, shoes. Yeah, they would like, do yeah, worse. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. I even like people even say to me, "You're not using your network." Because I know a lot of people. Like mm-hmm. I even mentioned, like you know, you don't just does. I can't say such things. So it just I know a lot of things. And like this industry, I think I started when I was eighteen. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, I can see. I'm that. 25 now. I've been doing mm-hmm. this for eight years. I wow. mean, how long? I, I was saying it to someone recently. Like, how many people will wait eight years? for their brand to grow not mm-hmm. everyone will do that yeah yeah but how is it how easy is it to network in the industry that you're in in lagos and um you know people, people will say we'll be in the right places mm-hmm. at the right time I'm, i don't try i have to the outside the hotel many times <laughs> you know work for me <laughs> one day i wanted to take picture with pokoli <laughs> He said, oh God, do quick, do quick. <laughs> <laughs> I swear, I like Poco. Poco. I've actually... And he, saw, he did the promo video for you too, for your yeah, show. Yeah, he's bro. amazing. Poco Lee. Screen, please, can you screen record it so that we can add it to the episode clip? If mm-hmm. you should pick. He's always busy. He's the busiest person though. Screen record it just in case he answers. He's busy. Let's see. Guys, whilst we're waiting for Poco Lee, that's the vibe master, man. Guys, but Poco did that to you. He didn't do it intentionally. It's obviously he's like night life. He maybe was going to another show. Mm. You know, it was, it was December period. But like, guy, do quick if you want to. <laughs> Let me send him this. Hey, no worries though. But Poco, please say say hi to my friend. He says that I won't follow you. Take picture. <laughs> he tell me say make I do quick. Say you the I'm rush. Screaming. You know, good boy. Shout out Poco, man. I love, I love Poco. Poco, you are a very amazing host. It's Lagos to uh, Lagos, Lagos, Miss Lagos London. Soon, Poco. <laughs> Poco. But on the topic of networking, yeah, um, what are the tricks? Because you said you need to be in the right places. You need to. Do you need to know the right people? What else? Yeah, you need to. You need to know the right people, and you need to um, know when. To, so now like people work up to people and like they just start like saying their whole life history nobody has time for that you need to learn <laughs> the is it the five nobody minutes cares, the, the, yeah. the, the 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 50 seconds trick right 50 the 50 sorry the 50 the, seconds. I, I call it the 50 seconds trick 50 or the one minute trick, trick. Okay. and what would you need to say in those 50 seconds your name okay congratulate the person for whatever it is they're doing okay let them know why you're you know, reaching out to them, why you want to talk to them. Yeah. Let them know your offer. Mm-hmm. Ask them the way you can contact them mm-hmm. and thank them for like the audience. Mm-hmm. All in that span. But if you're just there, you know, hi, I went to this school. Oh, like, I would long. like to, I need a day. Nah, 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 nah. Oh my God, I saw you perform. It's, it's too time. long. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You're like, hi. And you have to have value. So for example, now, let's say. Can you just do a real quick role play? Okay. So let's say you're what? Um, you're poor. Okay, you're Tiwa. Tiwa. Um, Actually, oh, let me, okay, let me, okay, let me just give an example that in front of me. When Jada was in Lagos, Jada Wada, okay. yeah. I was in the section mm-hmm. and a girl had like this, um, I'll say lipsticks. Where? Oh, yeah, it was a lipstick. I think she put it on her story. It was mm-hmm. lipsticks or so. And the girl waited for Jada mm-hmm. to finish taking videos with everyone mm-hmm. and she just caught her in that moment. Mm-hmm. Oh, hi Jada, I have this for you. Mm-hmm. 
And Jada takes it on. Oh my God, thank you so much. Wow. And, you know, she put on her story and that's how the girl got free promo. I think she even followed the girl back. Wow. wow. Just like that. Okay. I, that happened in front of me. So do you think it's important to have something you're selling? Like no, a it, so just have value something. of some okay. sort. Because at the end of the day, human beings are tired of giving and giving and giving. They right. want to feel appreciated as well. Right. So if you're going to see someone, for example, you have a lot of cabs, don't tell them, oh, I have cabs. Can you sponsor it? Mm. Oh, here is my cab. Thank right. you so much. I love what you do mm-hmm. and mean it. Right. And the person take that, oh, thank you. Right. You might not get anything right there. Next time you see the person, you remind the person that, oh, I give you that green cap on your head. Mm-hmm. Mm. I hear that. Makes sense. And you mentioned about being in the club, being in the section. We know that Lagos is very popular for that. <laughs> and there's something that you do that I'm very, like, I'm, I like a lot, which is the Dirty December tour. You're I feel gonna like have me involved, though. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that is, no, that is genius. No, I said, let me ask you guys, why is that the whole of London is yeah. always in Lagos? In yeah, everybody like, like we're gearing up, literally. I mean, I was in the, uh, I was in the, what, Stratford Bowl yesterday. And I was trying, you know, because we're walking around, like, mm-hmm. I don't believe everyone knows me. So I actually just like to be myself. Mm-hmm. So I went to two girls and me and my friend, Cherry and we're like, oh yeah, we have a party tomorrow. Like, we'd like for you to come. And he goes, oh no, sorry, I'm I'm flying now. I'm flying out. I'm going to Cancun. Mm-hmm. Oh my god. And I'm just like, why do UK people like? Why is like flying overseas such like a or like flying yeah. out of here such a big deal? The way they make being flown out because we are suffering in this the country. country. So we're the hustling. country will suffocate. So you. we need to get out to have a good time. <laughs> yeah, they make and it Lagos look, is a good time. They make it look like as if it's such a luxury. Um, it's not a luxury, it's just an avenue to get away. People are happy because if you're living the long, typical London life is like just like I said, I'm going to work tonight. Mm. I'm back tomorrow. What back do you to do? Work. I do Q and A for like a private healthcare company. Yeah, not to make the name bait, but obviously that's what I do. Mm. So that's my nine to five. You in London is work. Obviously, she's also coming from work too. Um, yeah, even before work. we came here. We were still hustling on the side. Yeah. We were doing a meeting because we wanted to go on a show channel. Right. So in London, it's just also, 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 exactly. also. The hustle and doesn't stop. Survival mm-hmm. of the fittest. Because if you think that you are doing something, there are some people that oh, there are some people that we are recording with you, not to shade. There are some people recording with flavor. Mm-hmm. There are some people recording with Ashake. Mm-hmm. So you have to keep it's struggling. It's a rat race. It's a that rat doesn't race. Stop. Doesn't stop. Like Madame Joyce, she was putting, like she filmed two podcast episodes in 48 hours. Even she's been the big one. Mm-hmm. So that's why when people are happy to go on holiday, they, they are counting. There are people that even count down six months to Lagos. Mm. People are happy yeah, to go. Yeah, I started my own countdown. <laughs> <laughs> this, uh, why do you think I reached out to you? I started my own countdown. No, that December is going to be sick. I'm Jermaine, talk to us, flyers. So what I do, I call talk it the... Us, so Jermaine. when I started, um, yeah, I, my I, book, love I wish I brought a lot of the things I used. So I write like this... For those who know me, my Are we going to have it tomorrow at the event? Will you have the book? Should should I have? should bring them, you right? Should, yeah. So like this Ankara book I have mm-hmm. in 2017, because I started my brand in 2016. So by mm-hmm. 2017, I had gotten that book. And I got it from like, a, will I say like a... Pla- uh, event planners association events. Right. Was it, what are they called? But I remember like back in the days, there was this event that... A, because in Lagos, there's a lot of associations, mm-hmm. engineer association, uh, as in Bubu Tailor Bubu Association, and and event planner <laughs> association. So there was this association, they gave us this book. And I was like, I said, from a, like, it's from an event planner, like, you know, journal. I'm mm-hmm. um, as well just, you know, start, start like journaling and everything. And I, I just had to, like, I, I came up with the name, Dirty December, Dirty December Tour, Jimmy mm-hmm. Media Dirty December Tour. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I kid you not, that's where the idea sprung up from. And I think what I did then, I was just like writing different events happening, different events happening. And they always have their numbers there, mm-hmm. you know, the numbers there. And I was just like reaching out. I remember that, that my book, that first page, I wish I, I'll show you guys tomorrow. You see, DJ Consequence, call him. I kid you not, almost everybody I have on that list today that my friends. I love that. I have all their numbers. I kid you not, like I'll say DJ Consequence. I love that. This is DJ Consequences number And the here. things that you never sell right yourself now. short. You never and sell then it was short. like, ah, oh my God. And obviously it's in the flyers. So obviously that's not his number. Mm-hmm. That's probably like his secretary's number, his peer's mm-hmm. number. But right but there, DJ Consequences, yeah. I was always like, just like, you know. You're also, um, Thinking about the future and how, yeah, mm-hmm. these are the kind of friends I want to have. Mm-hmm. This is the place I see myself. But it was hard to get in. So I said, what will I do? Start snapping picture. Right. Mm. Okay. And uh, I always go to events and I will take pictures. And then I said to not introduce using my phone. Mm-hmm. So I'll make viral moments. I'll, I just I just have a way of like, because Lagos is also a fight. It's in December. Mm-hmm. Everybody wants to be at the concert. So it's mm-hmm. hot. It's crowded. But me, I am a fighter. Mm-hmm. I'll get to the front <laughs> of the stage. They'll push me. I'll <laughs> climb here. And I'll just get like wow. the, like people know me for like, 
portrait videos. My videos are so clear. Right. Every December, all my videos are going viral. Mm -hmm. You know why? Because I also enjoy it. Mm -hmm. and I love the rave. I love the moment. I love the fun. And I think that's why you keep going because you enjoy it. You enjoy right. doing this, which is great. But we were talking about all your friends, your celebrity yeah. friends and all these things. A lot of celebrities in Nigeria, there's big misconceptions about them. Yeah. And we know that you know some. So what are some people, like the likes of Chef Xi and Danilo, yeah. what are some misconceptions that people have about these celebrities? People think Chef Xi is quiet. Oh wow! Oh, she I think quiet. she's quiet. I think, I think she's, quiet. she's just like she a gentle. Just know you all. No, I'm no not. Here. I've not <laughs> seen her before. I, mean, I don't mean you. I like me. She doesn't even know a lot of people. Right. But like when she's with her family, like she's 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 the party. She's the life of the, she's party. The life of the party. Really? Look at her bridal shower now. See how little it was. That's because her friends and family were there, so we're able right. to sneak you guys videos. I'm like, ah, well, I've not seen this side of Chef Chi. That's because she's not known. And if she, even if the she mic, comes, the mic, yeah. Mm -hmm. And even if she comes now mm -hmm. and uh, says, okay, let her just be herself, people will not judge her. Oh, she's doing too much because she can't sit down. Mm -hmm. So I think most of the time, celebrities don't even have strength. Right. They don't have strength to keep up with the backlash. They just really just stay away from, mm -hmm. you know, the media and only appear when they are paid. Mm -hmm. Exactly. I, I feel like paid. if celebrities were given, you know, a less tough time, you get to enjoy them more. Right. Half of them are just running away from stress. Like, not everyone is David. Don't David do. I would say David is crazy. He doesn't send anybody. You know, send you your spend papa. time with David do quite a lot. I, I spent time with Chi the most because right, okay. that's like my sister. Like, you know, I'm from. Mm -hmm. her. So the, the relations is with her. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's through her that I know David. Mm -hmm. You know. You know, so I know you know him because you say David. We could say David Do. You say David Do or oh, oh, one. But that's my uncle, Sha. Yeah. Oh, yeah no. mm -hmm. how, how good is how good is our cooking? <laughs> she can cook. Race out Better than you. Why not? <laughs> but I can cook, Sha. Yeah, can cook. yeah, I know you can cook. I've seen, yeah. No, I've she seen. cooks real well. Mm -hmm. She's an Igbo babe now. Don't play with Igbo girls. Trust her. And they, she's, they, yeah, she's, oh, one try. Cook. She's sexy as hell. Oof. That's all. Show my, my love. Aye, Aye, she, she get the dollar. She the head designer. I love her what, so much. I wanted us to just touch quickly. What, for anybody coming from London, yeah, they want to go to Lagos. Dead to December. What yeah. are we looking forward to this year? What's what? What What's do you have happening? planned? What's happening in Lagos this, this December? Notes, first I'm of all, notes. first of all, our advice: come on time. Okay, ah, I love this don't section. Come, <laughs> don't come and come to Lagos like midway and like oh my God, everywhere. Is okay, what's the best time in December to come? Oh, come dates. November ending. Oh, wow. So you People meet it that, from so. first week. As you prepare. Hot. You get right. the dates. Because let me tell you what's going to happen. Dates are going to come and they're going to change dates. Mm. They're going to be last minute changes. So come early. I mean, in Nikash, I know him. He came to um, Lagos like, early and he was able to do a lot of things early. You know. Mm -hmm. So if you come early as like, I just got, because we call you guys, I just got back. I did you leave. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you get to have uh, more time than coming like halfway like everything will be done people will be tired because like, it's a rush like from the 1st of December it starts mm -hmm. yeah. another thing is be energized like get ready to actually because it's no sleeping for no Lagos sleeping because so. 1st, 2nd, 3rd of December 4th of December 5th of December 5th, 7th, 8th something every is day something's happening every day so Bad. be energized like know that it's not like a one day off thing it's every day to enjoy this December you need to be mm -hmm. ready to move every day mm -hmm. I mean every December I used to buy one full 1,000 gram of vitamin C <laughs> for my rubber like this I'll put it in there yeah. and I'll be drinking it yeah. so if not you will just fall sick people right. fall sick every time in December mm -hmm. hospitals in fact I think have more people in December because it's not easy people mm -hmm. are fainting they're fatigued mm -hmm. also go out with your water because like you're going to be thirsty wear sneakers don't wear heels How, my friend Quick Steph wore heels to native land oh error she had to take off her boots and give it to me to hold error if she used her bare foot to walk out of. Beach. Yeah, she, she had to walk out. She was on sand. She didn't know now. She uh, thought it was going to be like. And guess what? Half the time there's traffic. Lagos is over oversized. Yeah. Like it's it's small and there like there are too many people. They're Especially many in cars. December. Mm -hmm. It's only December because yeah. when I'm doing it with you, just I just got back. <laughs> so <laughs> there was going to be traffic. We so get your cabs, flats. We take ca taxi everywhere. So there's so many cars on the road as well. Too many cars. Mm -hmm. Too many what cars. What is the date of December? I'm coming. Say okay, I plan first of December. I'm touching down. Yes. And uh, let's say ah, but it's, it might be too long for some people to now leave on the 25th because that's over three weeks. Mm -hmm. but, but guess let's... what? Like Lagos is affordable. It's not like London. So what's the budget? Like, say, Lagos is now expensive. Or, I would say, uh, I would say, I would say, if you come to Lagos with like 
five million this day, December, you have a good time. And I know you say, oh, that's too much. Where do you get five million from? Well, that's you know, the ones that are trying to ball now. <laughs> but you I want to have like a basic... Call me like 2.5. Is that for a guy or a girl? Because you know girls' lifestyle is different from guys. <laughs> Explain. Do you, do you get what I mean? You tell I'm me. Girls girl. get catered to. I'm, I'm just saying that they get catered sometimes to. you don't need to take that much money when you are a girl going to Lagos. What will happen? Because yeah, okay. Lagos men are very generous. You know? <laughs> Namwande do <laughs> I've been now man, <laughs> dude, man. <laughs> see, see the see the LC, they're even saying for that five million now for your own pocket too. That, <laughs> that five million where you touch, you know I mean? Now nah, that one is for you. That one is for you. So is that for yeah. money? Yeah. Thank you. Five million. So I don't even got me money. Uh, How do I miss some, some of these London girls? Some people they fly, they fly them. Some people they fly, they will pay for their flight. Well, the apartment they will stay in for well, the whole operation is paid for, it's catered to. But that's what Madam Joyce talks about on her podcast now. Turn up. Mm. I mean, I met her at the beach in December. Yeah. Hi, Miriam. They were at the beach. Mm. And I was like, ah, what are you doing here? You guys look new. Where are you guys from here? Where are you guys from? <laughs> and they're like, we're from London. Oh, you didn't even know her then. I didn't know them, but Lagos is my city, so I'm out. Mm. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, respect that. Yeah. That's my city. So five and for the boys. <laughs> that sounds so funny. So guys, there in December, go early. Go early. That's Just what's important. Go early. Go early. So you've been talking about um party, your party tomorrow. Yeah. Prior, let's before we get into the party, yeah. you came to the UK a yeah. year ago and yeah. you did a meet and greet. Yes. What's been the progress with you, with your brand from last year to this year? Okay, so when I came last year, BTS was just starting. I mean, I started my podcast for in February. For those that don't know, what's BTS? Behind the Story. Absolutely. Oh, wow. Love behind that. the Story. Okay. So Love people that. think it's behind the, the scenes. scenes. I yes. got that. Yeah. But I always laugh at them because I can't wait to break it off. Mm -hmm. But anyone who knows, knows mm -hmm. it's behind the story. Right. So in COVID, like I said, I think this is why I now have to explain the photography part. Mm -hmm. In 2016, I started as a photographer because I always said to myself, I want to go deep into entertainment. But I didn't know how. I need to always tell people, just start. Mm -hmm. God will show you the way if it's really what you want right, to do. Right. Because, yeah, I want to be a star. I want to be Jermaine. How will you be Jermaine? Mm -hmm. I go to, as I then, I was even called JJ. Mm -hmm. cho, cho, I grew up with everyone in. telling me, yeah, show walk ins. Show walk -ins. Yeah, people don't want to work. Mm. Like Kim Kardashian would say, nobody wants to work these days. Honestly, and she's not lying. She's lying. Yeah. Nobody want to work these days. <laughs> so, I mean, for me, I, I thought about it. And I didn't, even have a, I didn't even have a camera. My friend has given me his camera wow. back in the days mm -hmm. to start. You know, he lended me that. And I remember, like, I just the first event I did was Konami. I just took the camera. I said, because I know how to approach people. Like, mm -hmm. I'm a people's person. I would just say, hey, do you mind? Mm -hmm. Take a picture. And I just remember, I remember going to my Instagram there, and I think I had, like, what, 5,000 followers in 2016. I just flooded my IG with almost 50 pictures. And I would just write, tag who you remember mm. and this friend would tag this friend oh, this is not you this is not you and from there that's everyone just marketing. got into the page Love that. that's how i started because i realized that you can't just you want to be a star mm -hmm. you must serve you must do like okay even the stars will smith them they're giving us like what well, has given us how many movies right back you must back. serve yeah. but you don't know, want to be a star but let's be worshiping mm -hmm. worshiping for what who know you mm -hmm. <laughs> who know you <laughs> who, who, who be your papa don't yeah. but what, what's been the growth with you since last year your meeting i'm getting somewhere year. yeah COVID then comes mm -hmm. and then it's like all of that has to end because we're not going out no anymore. We're not home. Yeah. And while I was home, I started the BTS live show on Instagram. So there I was bringing like influencers, a lot of influencers from like Lagos, Abuja. I know live now the audience is there and it's just people talking. Mm -hmm. And then I know every time I'll bring them there, people always say, oh my God, thank you. You have taught me how to be an influencer. Now you've oh. given me the idea of how to start. Right. Oh, I never knew how to. And this, is, this is someone I've been following for years and now they've come on your show and they've just told us everything. We're DMing them and they never. Response. So because I have access to the stars, the stars come and they give me the tips mm -hmm. and it's live so the fans are like thank you Jermaine like we've been asking them how do I start my brand right. I want to sell beads how do I sell this beads mm -hmm. I want to make hair how do I make hair I want to send her a brand I want to send her a cloth I sell clothes how do I send it to her but like with everything you've done they've even told us how we can reach them how we can do this mm -hmm. and I just realized that okay yeah BTS really is behind the story because we're this, these stars are coming to tell us everything's not rosy right. we have a our down days mm -hmm. we're not responding sometimes because all, all the times you guys are saying us hi 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 we don't know what hi is mm -hmm. so you see that my show is really behind the story where it's teaching it's mm -hmm. teaching and talking about you know the life the ups the downs you know the reality of mm -hmm. the story not mm -hmm. just what you guys see on the ground mm -hmm. right. and then last year when because now I said the podcast Peter's Variety Show in February and by the time I come to London in May it already kicked off and I realised that okay you know what let me have a gathering Mm -hmm. you know, here, and we just named it, you know, the meeting with BTS London. And a lot of 
creators come out to London and like my friends bring their friends and I tell them one thing we're creating a community here right. I'm not from here I leave next week mm -hmm. but thank you guys for coming and I know we're going to expand we're going to grow and I kept contact with every single one of them every single one of them I remember Chidi then she was in the Victoni video mm -hmm. I remember my my friend Gracia you know she's doing so well now she's, she's singing mm -hmm. and everyone is just trying to take that stuff to the next level yeah. and I'm here this year and I'm saying we're building BTS London those who came out for me last year mm -hmm. I mean, this year, they're bigger. Their brands are greater. Yeah. And that's why it's like BTS London is being spoken about because like those who started with us last year are doing it big this year. Right. So those who come this year, I won't be shocked to see them doing stuff next year. You know so why? So I'm going to be on the red carpet next year because I'm coming this year. How far? Because then you also build community. <laughs> A lot of them know each other. Like I remember like, uh, mm -hmm. I saw Grace and I was like, oh, you guys talk. Yeah, like we met from your stuff. Right. The boys are like, yeah, we met Michael from your stuff. Mm -hmm. oh. Like they meet each other and they mm -hmm. grow because like it or not, this is Uyubu town. Right. This is a white, so, you know, all of you need to meet each other. Mm -hmm. And the only way we do that are through events like this. Yeah. Yeah. And so that's why my event is two way. Hi, hi, hi. No one. <laughs> <laughs> you need to come to meet and greet and then people yeah, just network. Yeah, meet people. It's yeah. important to network. Oh, I love that so much. Guys, um, <laughs> Sorry. like we said, we had to, it was a quick, very quick episode. We hope mm -hmm. you've enjoyed yourself. Yeah. I have to run to work in Fort Nady, But I know that definitely we, we are very happy to have you here. Especially Thank you. because your podcast is a very good reflection on the podcasting community. Absolutely. Thank you. Yeah, uh, Absolutely. So just like, having people sit down have genuine conversations yeah. which is the real idea behind podcasts mm -hmm. so thank you very much for joining us Jermaine we'll just have a couple I don't know Alice do you have anything else you want to cover no I just want to know yeah. quickly does the lifestyle cost well yes for Lagos, where you now they see this Does the money lifestyle cost? where do you guys get that money from because <laughs> you see Yemoli too <gasps> I said that guy is so rich Yemoli but does the lifestyle cost? Yeah, man. What's the? Where do you guys see to get the money from in Lagos? Because even, <gasps> even answer the question. Even does London the girls, they'll does say. Lifestyle cost. Okay, what do you think? No, you. It's you that. No, I mean, I told you. I already told you that I don't have access to your the life. Your reality is different. <laughs> That's your from reality. Our reality. For my reality is different. You know, and we just wanna just understand a little bit. We, we're not gonna understand everything fully, obviously. But yeah. Jeremy, can but, I ask something? Are you from a rich family? Be honest. I was from an average family. I mean, I went mm -hmm. to ST&T. I live in GRA. You know, GRA, yeah, Ikeja. Yeah, Ikeja or... I'm reserved area. Ikeja. Yes, now okay. soft area. I mean, my brother, uh, you know, went to Darwin College Ooh, before he went to St. Paul. Yeah. My sister went to Jackie's Play School. So we've been averagely good. I mean, we're growing up, we always come to London. Mm -hmm. That's how I know London. Right. Growing up, I have the idea of it. Mm -hmm. Go to America. So I remember the two countries I went to when I was young, America, London. Mm -hmm. So we had summer visits. We went to you know, an international school, ST, 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 ST Regency School mm -hmm. in GRE. So, you know, we're well to do. We never really lacked anything. I mean, when I was small, my daddy had like, you know, E classes. Is that not for Coli Coli? No, it's not for Coli. No, I not see your face. <laughs> he has seen it too. He has seen the snap I sent him. <laughs> no, no, it's calm, it's calm. No, sorry, okay. sorry to uh, lose your train of thought. He's probably upset self. Yamoli is re responding, oh. <laughs> he said love. Oh, we love you too, Yamoli. <laughs> <laughs> so you, you, so obviously, if your dad had a G-Wagon, then obviously your family is, we come from a, like, Yeah, a we, we come from an okay, if I call it okay, because mm -hmm. they get people who get money past us. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I can't lie to you. Yes, now. Oh, yeah, now. So yes, now. My neighbors are the Udukoyas. Oh. Wow. So they're wow. rich, rich. So you cannot compare us to those, those are get what you. Oh, yeah. They get money, you. But but answer the my question. question. Does the <laughs> lifestyle cost? Now. The lifestyle cost, now you know, no. Hey, hey. Now, now you know, no. no. The lifestyle cost, <laughs> now you know, no. I can never not come here and say the lifestyle no cost. No business cost, I take you to Central London. Oh, wow. I thief wow. the money. Wow. Okay. That's like five million naira. Wow. Wow. It costs. Mm. After you don't go change pounds. See, they just say pounds, 1,000 pounds, that's a million naira. You calculate how many. You don't enter with it. You don't go change money, we go hold for hand. Oh. Hotel. Mm. Moving around, and then obviously you planning a show in London. Honestly, that's so guys, major. the lifestyle cost for men. I really don't know for women though. <laughs> she said, she said, I said, please do you know to me, son. <laughs> do you know to me, son. You got, I, I love that guy. If you see him, tell him I said I love him, man. Are we gonna play guy. a quick game with Jermaine before yeah, we go? So, We're gonna play a quick game with you just to end the show because we've talked about a lot. We've learned so much from you. Yeah. We're gonna learn more tomorrow at your masterclass yes. and then have a good time with you as well. But before we end the show, we are going to play a quick game with you. 
All right. Yeah. Then, oh, are you going to start the game? Yeah, just to broach it. Hopefully, when we're also in Lagos, we get a chance to come on your podcast. Mm-hmm. And maybe next year, Absolutely. bigger. Absolutely. So, um, as a community, continue to grow together. Yeah. yeah. So, this game will just help, help the people, help us to know you better. So, it's more of like, the first question is just... What's the name you. of the game? Uh, I, I split it into two. The first mm-hmm. bit is, how well do you know Lagos and London? Mm-hmm. And this one is just to help the people know you better. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, you go out on a night out. When you get back into the mm-hmm. house... What are you eating? You're drunk in night out, you're tired, you're... What's that one food that you're eating? So usually, in my house, I have, like, a maid, so she she probably makes my dinner and just keeps it in the fridge when I come at one, but it's probably, like, rice. Mm. Rice and chicken. Or we get takes out, takeout. Mm-hmm. Shout out to Jay's Diner. Everybody knows Jay's Diner. Yeah. In Lagos. Mm-hmm. Fast food. Mm-hmm. I know Jay's Diner. Because another thing about Lagos is, in the nighttime, a lot of, like, Itri's closed, a lot of restaurants closed. So you have just two. You have um, Jay's Diners and maybe Prime Chinese. Although I'm never going to Prime Chinese. Like I don't want to say if they come and sue me and say what evidence do I have. <laughs> but I, I I can't even say it because it's my truth. You don't eat shawarma? Um, no. But they just at night by me. Like, yeah, you know, they do. do you know how long clubs stay in Lagos? At 6 a.m., we still there outside. 6 a.m. 7 a.m. We stood oh, wow. there outside. <laughs> Quillocks. Nine I remember they when had to Quillocks, even shut Quillocks down at a point. I remember point. when Quillocks did that 24 hours. Was it was 12 a.m. They're still outside in the morning. Like, you will go to church and meet them outside <laughs> in the morning. <laughs> On Sunday morning. Just, just December. looking at them. Mm-hmm. And is it only just just December it's that crazy or is it all okay, so around? December, Lagos is crazy every day. Like, right. I was saying that. I think I asked a friend of mine, like, no clubs in... London on Monday, on a no, Tuesday. No, no. I don't know. Like, oh Everybody's no, working. it's more like a lounge. Working, yeah, but Lagos, now. Obi's house on Monday. Yes, now. Bay Rock after. Yes, now. Wow. Tuesday, bang bang Tuesdays. <laughs> Wednesday, when another person don't create another one. They see the morning. Thursday, active by uh, Ronnie J. And the things are people are still working. Friday, another level. Yeah, Friday is even worse in Lagos. I yeah, swear. yeah. Friday is a different. Next question. Next question. Uh, next question is now. Just follow up. What is the best club, best nightclub in Lagos? Just Ooh, one. I no, no like... side, no side, no, yeah, don't no, no. no mm. <laughs> you already no dilly darling. Just give us one just name. But you guys are going to put me on the spot though. Just mm, mention you're you're me. Me on the spot. Ask me why you guys are going to put me yeah, on the spot. Yeah, I have spots. my own. When I go into this club, they know. Say if I call the stage, I mean, went to that podcast, I did not call our name. <laughs> oh, <laughs> okay, just okay, let's just, let's be fair. Top three. And that's the best I can do. That's the best I can do. For people that are going to Lagos in December, these are the top three clubs. I beg, go with a little bastard. Okay, so I'll say... um. Bay Rock. Bay Rock. Okay. Bay Rock, number Lee three. And White Lion Walk at Bay Rock and then my brother. Is that number like, three or number one? In no particular order. In no order. particular order, okay. okay. Like, this boy wants to throw me out um, I'll say, I'll say Red Room because I'm there with my friends. So shout out to Ooh, 606. Like Red Room. Red room. Um, mm, mm, mm. Quillox. Quillox. I like Quillox. I, mine would be Cova, mm-hmm. Quillox, and the library. I love the library. Cova, mm. Quillox, and the library. The library. Mm-hmm. So, guys, comment below what you Where's think. Top, what are your favorite top, top three, three clubs in, in Lagos? Mm-hmm. And the second, the, uh, we'll move on to the next question, which is more of like general knowledge. So, um, mm. who is currently on the 1000 Naira note? Why oh, you guys ask me this? <laughs> You are spending money. You spend it you all spend, the time. You spend five million naira on business class. Who ah, is this is actually really bad. <laughs> no, no yeah. what do you want to do? Uh, moving on. He doesn't know it. We are not going to edit it out. To, eh, eh. You guys will think I'm Do you need to phone a friend? They will think I'm Do you want to phone no, a friend? No. Yes, let me call quick step. <laughs> phone a Will friend. she know? 30 seconds. 30. 29. Will she pick? She might not pick. 27. 26. 25. 24. She might not pick. Everyone is busy. Everyone's hustling. My time is definitely up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. The time's done, baby. They will help you answer in the comment section. Some of my friends are bad. Look at them not picking my calls. <laughs> Jeremy, don't worry. They usually pick my calls. They don't think I'm a sadist. <laughs> <laughs> well, moving on to the next question. We can pin that one. Maybe if she calls you back. Or... The next yeah. question is... um. The Olympics just recently ended. Mm. Yes. Nigeria, how many medals did Nigeria <laughs> win in the recent Olympics? Eh? 
how many med- the Olympics just ended in yeah. Paris, mm-hmm. not far from us here. Yeah. How many medals did Nigeria win in the recent Olympics? Do you? I will get that one. Okay. Yeah. You said the answer. Man. None. Oh, that's good. Yeah, we didn't win any medal. <laughs> so I won. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't win any medal. Yes. So okay. Another... Don't make me fail again. It's, it's, no, no. It's, it's just it's, one uh, zero. it's just two two more questions. So where what part of London is Brixton located? You can't use... Oh, is your friend calling you back? <laughs> Hello? What part of London is Brixton located? <laughs> Brixton is South London. Oh, wow. Say it again louder on, on the podcast. South London. South <laughs> London, yeah. He helped you. Victor helped Thank you. Thank you, Victor. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, well done. You get That's another good. point. That's Woo! another point. That's another point. Okay, and we're going to do two more. Uh, the last, last question okay. is... You need to mention... Give us five Nigerian artists that have done collab with UK artists mm. five Nigerian music artists that have done collabs with UK artists how even know the difference because I say Daco but Daco is she UK or no UK Daco is UK Daco is UK she Nigerian you okay know so Rema Rema mm-hmm. okay Bona Boy mm-hmm. okay Rema Bona Davido okay mm-hmm. two more two more artist um Adekle Gold mm-hmm. Who did Ade Klego do it? Dave. Okay. Ade Klego and Dave have a song. Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, one more. One more. Iris Star. Yeah. Yeah, we okay. can see Iris Star and Daku. Yeah. Yeah. That's good. Well Thank done. you very much, Woo! Jermaine. You've been amazing. This You've has been, been a very guest. good conversation just to speak to a podcaster from Honestly, Lagos, Nigeria. You we guys the energy. We did I? Did. Yeah, we actually enjoyed it. We're going to get you to sign. As you can Let's see, our board you. is full. So we need yours there as well. So when you blow, you can sell it. <laughs> literally. <laughs> and, and when we finish our episodes, we like to say Lagos meets London. That's where Wahala is. So we're going to say Lagos meets London and you will say Wahala when you're done. Guys, don't forget to check out the bts behind the story mm-hmm. media podcast yep. and yeah follow the page on subscribe on youtube follow mm-hmm. on instagram mm-hmm. and you're still here well it goes miss london please leave a comment mm-hmm. if you've enjoyed the conversation mm-hmm. let us know what guests you'd like to see we're on audio streaming platforms mm-hmm. spotify apple Podcasts. Mm-hmm. please leave a comment good or bad just leave a comment and interact. don't forget that this episode is brought to you by tickets, tickets and not, just to go and K-T-S. drill back in Again, on the unique selling point, you can pay with planning for the event tickets. And also, for brands, you can do marketing on there and you can get your analytics from there as well. So For free. Make all for sure free. you use our referral code LML100. LML 100, 100, so, as we 100. said, why are you looking at me like that? <laughs> Lagos to London. You guys are too much. And we're, as we said, we're going to say Lagos meets London. We're going to need you to say Wahala. However way you want to say it, okay? okay? With your energy, with your vibe, okay? Lagos meets... La- oh, yeah, now. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I was just looking at this body's becoming full. We oh, need to yeah, get now. a new one. Oh, yeah, yeah it's now. so full. Yeah. People are not able to express themselves very well again. We need to get a new one. Yeah. But, yeah. Guys, Lagos meets, meets London. London. Wahala! Wahala. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! 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 Thank you.